This is a current clamp. You can use it to measure the current in a circuit without disconnecting the wires. We're going to place our wire right here. This actually opens up. And then we just want to make sure that that's closed when we make our measurement. This has two different settings. There's a 20 amp setting and a 60 amp setting. That's the maximum for the measurement. This has an on and off switch. So this off switch right here on the back there's a battery inside there, so nearly all of these will have a battery. And I place it in the range that I suspect the current will be measured at. I have this DC motor that I'm going to use to measure the current. This multimeter at the top, we're going to use this in the traditional way. We'll measure the current through the multimeter. And this bottom multimeter, we'll use this current clamp and see kind of the difference between them. So on this traditional meter right here, we set our value here to amps. I have my red meter lead plugged into the 10 amp socket. This is plugged into the common. And in order to measure the current, I have to disconnect the connection. And then I'm going to place my meter in line so it'll be in series. So we're going to go from the power supply through this lead here, then through the 10 amp max fuse, and then out of there and back into the motor. Okay, I'll turn that on. And we see once it settles down, it's about 3.6, so that's 0.3 amps. To measure it with this other circuit, I'm going to uh, put my meter in. I can either do volts or millivolts. My scale right now is for every 100 millivolts, that equals an amp. Okay, so I don't put my meter in amp to, to measure the amperage and my meter leads are in the correct position here. So I'm going to take my meter. Now there's a direction. It'll usually have a symbol on the front. So this one shows a positive right here. Okay. Before I connect that on there, I want to zero this out. So you can see that I see a little bit of remnant. So I'm going to hit that zero and that'll zero that out. I'm going to clip this towards the positive. Make sure that this is fully closed and then I'll plug it in. So we saw a slight variation. This one was 34 and I think this one was 36. But you can see how this will give us a fairly good measurement on the current in a circuit without actually having to, to go through the process of disconnecting it. This specific clamp comes with these leads. So these can just go right into a multimeter. I also have this adapter. So if I plug these in, this gives me a BNC connection, and this is what would go inside of an oscilloscope, so I can measure 